lift up the gas tube so that you can actually clean down the gas system. Very important tool. I haven't quite figured out what the little thing on the end is, but it has something to do with something else for cleaning it, too. But All right. First, Everybody first, wants first. to know, Steve, what's the difference between this and an AK-47? Or the what's the similarity? The difference between this and an AK-47 is that this came first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is is that, is that uh, Kalashnikov swears he never saw this mm -hmm. when it comes to the AK-47, but there are just some, some distinct features on this that the AK-47 has, and, um, and I'll show them to you. Um, for one thing, it does... There's, there's, there's systems on this that have been used in many different assault weapons, okay? And I'll show them systems to you. For one thing, the foul that we just looked at, the foul locks up with its bolt mm -hmm. like this does. Mm -hmm. The foul took this drop-down system of drop lock for the bolt from this. Mm. The M16 took this from this. The AK-47 took the gas piston and the and the bolt carrier and the system. intermediate cartridge and design yeah, the, and all that. They, they t that took that there's not an assault weapon out there that doesn't have something that was on the mp44 and this is the very first assault weapon in fact hitler was the one that said strumgewehr which means st storm rifle or assault rifle so Sturmgewehr. it's also it's also the one hitler said don't make it right yeah originally but when when what happened was is they were hiding it from him he didn't know it existed and then um, and, they called it an MP and, and then he, he had a Waffen SS guy from, from the Russian front who he was decorating and he said to this young soldier, he goes, what else do you guys need more of on the Russian front? And he said, we need more of that new rifle. And Hitler, what new rifle? And so he explained to him what the rifle was and then they admitted to Hitler that they actually designed it because see, Hitler wanted everything in full in full size 8 millimeter, He didn't want any rifles that had a different cartridge. And so they made this one with the intermediate cartridge. When they showed it to Hitler, he loved it. He looked at it. He loved it. He said, Strumgewehr. It's an assault rifle. It's a storm rifle. It's an, so that's where it came from, Strumgewehr. And from that day forward, they were called STG-44, Strumgewehr 44. Oh, from that, it used to be called MP-44. MP, which was machine okay. pistol, which yeah, is actually like a submachine gun. All right, yes. so that's what they told him it was, but it turned out to be STG. Yeah, oh, gotcha. That out makes to be sense. When well, I always call it MP-44. Okay. switch to a new caliber in the middle of the war. Yeah, they wanted everything in full-size 8mm. At least that was, that was that was Hitler's thinking. Very but, nice. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's all there, and it fires in... Uh, the now it's, it's seven two, oh, seven yeah, you nine see two. This? this is the other feature that, that you clearly see from an AR or an M16. Mm -hmm. magazine see, the magazine release is just like an M16. I mean, so yeah, all, all the modern guns took from this gun. And this thing's really nice to shoot in full auto, too, because its cyclical rate isn't that fast. It's maybe about six, seven hundred rounds a minute. It's, it's really, it's just really nice. Seven, six, seven, nine, two by... Seven, nine, two by 33 Kurtz. Kurtz. Eight millimeter Kurtz. Yep. Okay. Very nice, Dave. Everything beautiful.